okay. So let's start with 2023 on YouTube. Definitely gonna be known as fishy girl in, this, in the canteen. I've had like two inches cut off. It is another parcel from Protein World. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Tonight's video is going to be a January reset slash weekly vlog and I have already filmed some clips from yesterday and today so I'm going to insert those after this but then I will get on with the weekly vlog so if you're interested in this video then let's get on with it. What about you today when we rocked up you went? Sunday morning walk. January reset, it's happening. Well, I kind of feel a little bit unwell today. I think I've caught Jake's illness that he had last week, which was like a cold. My throat's a bit sore, so hopefully I'll start to feel better. And it's just because I've woke up. I don't know. I hope I don't get ill. I've been trying my best to avoid everyone's illness. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. It's Monday and I've just been having a sort of morning of like jobs. I went in the gym, did some hoover and did some cleaning. And now me and my mum are just off to go for a walk, get the steps in, it's like a nice day. We went yesterday for a walk as well and we said we'll do another one today. Um, and then I need to go to Aldi and get some like food choppy bits just for the week. I feel like today is like the 1st of January because I had in my head that this was the reset week where like the diet gets back to normal and just everything, you know, we've had a lot of fun the last few weeks, eating, drinking, but we're back to it today and I'm really, ex <coughs> really excited to like get everything back on track. Also super thrilled because I've had some outfits delivered for my hen party this morning and I literally love them because it's only like 60 days until we'll go like three months or something so coming around quick so I need to be organized for that but I'll talk about everything later but let's get let's get Physical. on with let's get, <laughs> let's get on with Monday and get the steps in so me and mum are on a little Monday afternoon walk we've came to a place called Harrington Park and Heza P. <laughs> slang <laughs> slang is Heza P. and there's a new cake slash coffee shop open so we might have a little look in there on the way back Miss half a grapefruit I'm gonna have a peppermint tea. I think I'll have a cup of tea wild times but we'll have to have a look at the cakes but yeah Monday morning step well Monday afternoon steps <laughs> are we okay <laughs> So 
So we're gonna go and get a little love lily cup of tea or hot chocolate, but the queue was massive, so we're not. But I need to go to Aldi. Can you come with us? I'll come, but do you I'll want to be pass quick. In the car, no, I want to wait. What do you need? A whole? Just bits. But if you need a full thing, I'll I wait. I need yourself. a full thing. I need bits, and she's not gonna come. I'll come. Okay, so the last clip you would have seen, I was at Aldi doing some food shopping just that I needed. Um, me and my mum have been for a walk today and just had like a really nice chill day. Um, I feel like today is almost like the 1st of January because I feel like it is actually the 9th, so it's not the 1st at all. Um, I just kind of feel like the last week I've had like Christmas blues and just haven't really been able to kickstart myself into the new year. I did say all last week like Monday was the refresh and I actually spoke to someone and they were like, yeah, I feel like the second week of January is actually the like the real restart because, you know, you've... For example, you've still got all your Christmas chocolates to eat in the first week. Um, so I feel like just that's one example. And I just feel like nothing feels fully back to normal. Whereas today is Monday the 9th and it does. And I had already set that little challenge in my head that this was the start of the that this was like the restart. So I've already had like a productive morning of like cleaning the house. Obviously the tree's down, so the living room feels so bare. But I was kind of excited once the tree was down to get like all tidied and like hoovered and cleaned. So it feels good. Um, but I just kind of wanted to chat a little bit because obviously 2023 is about to be the best year of my life. Like I'm getting married, um, which feels surreal just everything like it's jake my fiance's 30th if you don't want if you haven't watched these videos and you don't know jake is my fiance he's never in these videos but yes he does exist and it's his 30th we're we'll getting married like we've just got the most exciting year ahead um so i just kind of wanted to talk about a little bit about kind of how the my channel's gonna go um and it's just so exciting. I was like lying in bed last night thinking of like YouTube videos and I was like the next couple of months, like January, February, might take a little bit of like thinking of ideas of what to like film, which, you know, I like to plan anyway. But then I feel like from March onwards, it's just going to be go, go, go with like everything that we've got going on. We actually, I haven't mentioned this, but we actually booked a ski holiday um, just after Christmas, like Boxing Day, we booked it and we're going to Val d'Isere in March and we're honestly so excited. So we're going, me and Jake, my fiance, and then Jake's sister and her husband, like the four of us, and honestly, they've never been. And I'm just so excited to show them how fun skiing is. So we've got like ski vlogs coming, we've got like wedding content, we've got brides, uh, not bridesmaid, hen do content, like so much coming. And I honestly can't wait. Um, if there's anything that you want to see from me, I really want to kind of know. So if you let me know in the comment box. Um, I was watching this thing recently where it said like that people are silent subscribers. And then there's like the people who comment. And I feel like I do have a lot of silent subscribers who maybe would never comment on someone's video. But like it is really good to know what people want to see. Um, I obviously can't see who watches the videos at all. Um, and I can't ever see like it's like it's pretty I don't know it's hard because I can see the numbers of like the ages and the like the um the sex and the location and stuff but I can never see like who watches them so it's really hard to know um but comments do make everything a lot easier when you like say what kind of videos you like to watch and I love watching YouTube so this is like goes into how I was feeling last night because last night I was kind of doubting myself thinking oh should I do TikTok but then like I don't love TikTok, I watch it and it's like a short video, I actually, then I was like, no, I love editing my videos, that's like the, like my chill time is like when I edit, so I was just kind of feeling a bit like deflated, but then I was like, why, I just love doing it, so I feel like I just need to remember that, and sometimes it does get on top of you, but I don't want to go into too much detail about that, because I just feel like when I listen to people, when I watch YouTube and people say this kind of thing, I'm like, no, I love watching you, so don't ever do anything else, do you know what I mean? But then when it's me doing it, I'm like, should I be doing something else? Like, do people like watching it? I, I don't know. And then I'm like, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if people don't actually like watching it, because I love doing it, and it's memories for me to always look back on. So I was in that little mode last night, as well as, like, planning content and things. Um, 
it's just I get myself in a little funk but I feel good today I woke up feeling so good I went in the gym this morning um so yeah I feel good today but I just kind of wanted to like talk a little bit about the year like 2023 how that looks for me so obviously skiing as I've just mentioned and um, my Hindu which is in April and then obviously the wedding which is in August so my like my kind of my channel will go a little bit more like wedding-y and like vlogs and stuff like that. I feel like my channel has gone towards more vlogs anyway and I really love doing vlogs. But if people want to see any challenge videos just let me know as well. Um, but I did just feel like I wanted to come on and have a little January reset chat and I'm actually after this clip going to sort my wardrobe out. Even though I did a wardrobe declutter recently I feel like I've just got so many new clothes like for my birthday which was in October and then Christmas I need to chuck some bits out so that things can fit. So it's either chuck things out or buy new coat hangers but we've got no room for the clothes so I need to do a little bit of chucking out which I'm going to. Nothing crazy, nothing massive, just a few bits to make some room. Um... So that'll feel very January uh, reset as well. And I just feel as though there's so many exciting videos are, like, that are coming. But I'm just like, oh, where do we even start? So I'm actually also going to plan some content after I've done my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to say Happy New Year. Hope everyone's had an amazing start to the new year. And everyone has an amazing new, like, amazing year. Um... And if you're sticking, sticking around for the journey of my 2023, I really hope you enjoy it. And I know it's going to be the best. Um, speaking of my Hindu as well, I actually ordered some outfits from ASOS today. Not today, they came today. I ordered them like two or three nights ago. And wow, like oh, they're amazing. My bridesmaids have actually sorted out like a itinerary for like themes of what we've got to wear. So they've given everyone that's going a theme and then they've given me my own theme so I've got to like stick to that and get some nice outfits so there's going to be lots of hauls lots of like things coming up um obviously I'll be doing a Zara haul when the sale's over because I can't deal with Zara at the minute when the sale is it's just too messy but yeah I feel like my channel's gonna just this could be the year of like everything because it's the year of the wedding and could it be the year of the YouTube just going crazy let's maybe we might get, I might get 2,000 subscribers, who knows? I'm on like 1,400, so I think 2,000 is pretty achievable in a year. I don't know, aim big, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on and have a little chat because I feel like I didn't chat too much about like January, New Year and everything in the last video. Um, But I cannot wait for this year. Like, I feel like I want to go into so much detail about the wedding but I'm actually going to do a wedding video because I haven't done a wedding series video in ages and there's actually quite a lot of catch up on so I'm going to do a full video on the wedding and where I'm at and with seven months to go how long I have that is how long I have left to plan and what I've got to do and what's done so I'm going to do a full video on that which is going to go out after this vlog so you will see that but yeah let's go do some wardrobe decluttering and make some room and yeah i hope everyone has a really lovely 2023 2023 and i hope that it brings you everything you want <sighs> have i covered everything that i want to talk about i think i have yeah i have so i'm happy with that so an exciting year the best year exciting is not even the word like this year is going to be just i think the year of my life that i'll never forget and I want my vlogs to be so jam-packed so that I can look back and this can be where I look back. And this time next year I'll be sat in January, like I'll not just have Christmas blues, I'll have wedding blues, I'll have like, I'll be, oh, I'll have all of the blues. So I think I just need to enjoy every day as it comes. I think I also said in the previous clip that my Hindu was 60 days away and I think I've got that wrong. Oh yeah, my Hindu's like a hundred days away. Just need to say that. Um, but yeah, gonna have the best year of my life, and I hope you're all here to come along for it. So if you are, if you're also not subscribed, please subscribe because that means the most. But anyway, let's not go into too much detail on that, and let's get on with my little wardrobe declutter so I can make some room for the clothes. Me and this wardrobe, I really, really 
this is my Christmas dress. I don't know where to start because I did a wardrobe haul, haul, not a haul, a wardrobe declutter recently, but I just feel as though I've got no room. Like my work stuff, I need to go through that because I didn't do that last time and that could be where I get to chuck out a lot of things. So let's go. I'm just going to take this all to like the charity bin. I'm just going to put it in a big bin liner and just take it to the charity bin. Because I don't think I'm going to have much. But even if I just get rid of say 10 items, that's going to that's gonna help. I've currently got rid of three, so I'm being brutal. I think I forgot I had these. Are they broke? Oh yeah, they're broke. I thought there was a reasoning behind not wearing those two three four five well i've got rid of six things i still have more to do there's some new leggings i'll hang them up Oh, I really need to be brutal and so hard. I don't like chucking clothes out, but it's a good mood to be in to do it because I'm quite feeling quite unattached from the wardrobe. Um. I feel like that's all <laughs> Also, I was going to say a fun fact, but it's not even a fun fact, but I still have so many clothes at my mum and dad's house. Um, like, I've still got, like, three wardrobes full of clothes. Well, two. Two? One big one kind of thing. Yeah. So, I don't obviously need that stuff, but my mum would never just chuck it out without asking me. But I'm like, I think it's time to sort that out as well. I end up wearing the same stuff for work every day. So I'm happy with that. I think even that's quite a good chunk of stuff to chuck. There's a little pile going on. Let me try and chuck some jumpers. I don't really want him. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Do 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 do. You got a hold of me. I don't want to chuck any jumpers out. I think I'm gonna leave my little throwaway session there. Yeah, that'll do. So I've just done my little wardrobe clear out, which felt good. Just a small one, nothing massive, but I got rid of like a bag of stuff, which I need to just take to the clothing bank just to get rid of um, stuff I don't wear. I didn't clear my work section out when I did my huge like wardrobe declutter, so that was needed. But now I'm gonna do some planning for my life for YouTube. Um, ignore my hair, by the way. I'm actually getting my hair done on Friday. So I'll put that in this January reset vlog. Also getting my brows done on Wednesday. So I'm going to have fresh brows, fresh hair, fresh year. Everything is good. Um, but this is actually a really cute notebook, which I've not used yet. My mum and dad got me it when they went away to Tenerife. And it says, positivity is a choice. So yes, I'm going to do some notes in there now and do some like planning and just get some things wrote down which is going to feel good i do write quite a lot in my notes on my phone but i sometimes think getting a pen to paper feels amazing last week i actually was having a day where i felt really overwhelmed with like how much stuff i had to do like it was before i'd taken the tree down and stuff and i just got my phone on my lunch break at work and wrote down everything i needed to do and i've worked through it and honestly the difference it makes when you like work through a to-do list like it just 
feels good. Not everyone's like probably that way, but I literally like think it just makes me offload and then I can just work through it a bit more realistic than if I just had everything in my brain. So yeah. Oh, this is good as well. This notebook, I've just opened it because it doesn't have lines. So I can just do like spider diagrams and stuff. That's exciting. So let's start with 2023 on YouTube. I'm gonna make a quick cup of tea as well, just to assist in the planning. <clears throat> okay, I've got a cup of tea and I'm gonna do some planning. And then after that, what a productive day I'm having. I'm gonna do some food prep for the week, which I can talk you through as well, if that's interesting, I don't know, but I will. I'm gonna talk you through what I do and what I'm having. And then me and my friend were also meant to go to the cinema tonight, but she didn't get asleep until like 3 a.m. And she's been at work all day since 7 a.m. So we're just gonna have a chill night and I think gonna, I'm gonna make tea. So yeah, we're having salmon and that's what I'm also gonna meal prep for the week is salmon. So I'm gonna be salmoned out, but hey ho. Right, let's do some planner. Might time lapse it, maybe I will. Maybe I will. So, sorry, I was just taking a photograph of my notebook and Jake just texted me from upstairs and basically my ring has been in America getting fixed and, <clears throat> excuse me, we've had some problems with FedEx getting it shipped back to us and he's just sent me a thing there saying that all issues have been resolved for your package and shipment has been released for delivery. So that means I could get my ring back in like a few days and I'm so excited so i'll obviously get it back in this vlog so you're gonna see me again feeling engaged oh i'm thrilled like thrilled yay the perfect because we had a bit of an issue with it last week and fedex were wanting crazy money off us to get it back into the country <clears throat> when we'd already sorted all of that so this is so exciting that i'm gonna get it back oh my gosh oh it's at stansted so maybe it'll probably come Maybe I will get it tomorrow. Thrilled. Let me tell Jake, I'm so happy. Right, anyway, let's get planning my 20, I'm first off gonna do a spider diagram on 2023 YouTube. I actually, fun, I keep saying fun fact, it's bloody not fun, but it is for me. But <clears throat> last, I have this diary that I always used to plan my YouTube content in. I used to do like month by month in like a spider diagram. So I'm going to do a 2023 YouTube and then I will break it down probably in a month because I feel like that's easier when you know like, you know, what months, what's going on in what month and things. So let's go. I planned a lot last night on my phone, you can't even see. Um, but yeah going to use that even though I've wrote it down there I want it in my book But I've wrote a lot. <clears throat> I'm now gonna plan, well, write all my themes for my hem do down, which are in my phone as well, but I want them on paper so I can like write what outfits and stuff next to it. Basically, just wanna write everything on paper so that it feels like <clears throat> I'm offloading it. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat, I've got a frog <clears throat> in my throat. Hem do themes. <clears throat> also, we've not picked it, um, Sorry, we've not picked a Hindu 
a theme for the airport for my Hindu. So if anyone has any amazing ideas, please let me know because I'm interested to know. I also have the themes of what the hens are wearing so that I can like see both. Right, I'm gonna stop filming and I'm gonna carry on and then I'm gonna prep some food. Okay, the light's not really that great, um, but I just wanted to quickly talk you through my little meal prep for the week. So I'm actually at work for three days, but I just wanna prep two days because I'm gonna have, this is just so much information. One of the days I'm gonna have tuna and rice because I'm going out for tea this is tomorrow. I'm going out for tea tomorrow night and I'm going to have salmon at the place I'm going because I had it last time and it was unreal. So I don't want to have salmon for lunch and salmon for tea. So tomorrow I'm going to take tuna and rice, but I'm going to do two portions of salmon and rice, 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 um, salmon and rice for lunch on Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm going to do that now. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I just get the salmon infused fillet from Aldi and I obviously I am tracking my calories. This is just because I, this is what I do. This is my cup of tea that's smoking. Um, so for Wednesday, I need to input for lunch, salmonita. Um, and I do weigh it, so I'm gonna get the scales and some foil. Just talking you through what I'm doing. So I get enough foil for two. I need to open the salmon. So I'm having that on Wednesday and I'm having that on Thursday. Scan. I've actually not taken salmon to work for ages because it stinks the canteen out when I cook it in the oven not the oven, in the microwave, it like stinks. And I, was, I started to get like a proper um, complex about it because I felt like I would probably be known as like the salmon girl because it did stink, but it's nice, it's healthy and it's so filling. So if I get a name for myself as salmon girl, well, it's probably quite worth it. Is it worth it? I honestly do think people all know us as stinky salmon girl. Dear me. Okay, so first off, just opening the salmon. Oh, it does stink. Let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm just getting the foil ready on the scales and I'm gonna take one of the salmon's fillets. I've washed my hands and I'm about to wash them again, but yeah, onto there. Using the fingers that I didn't touch the salmon with. So on Wednesday, I'll have that one and I'll remember. So I've got 108 grams, so that's 108.5 grams of salmon. Fabulous, 108.5, so that's 214 calories for the salmon eater. And I'll just put it like this, and then I'll do it again, same thing, but for Thursday on my fitness pal, And that is one one oh oh dear one one oh point seven grams of salmon for that one. Right, fabulous. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I just remember that this is Wednesdays, this is Thursdays, just so the calories are right very specific, and then I'll do the rice as well. Wednesday, 
Then I put them in the air fryer for like 20 minutes on like, I don't even think it's like 200, it's not much. What is it that I usually put it on? You can microwave this, Sam, I didn't know that. But no, I usually put it on like air fry for 20 minutes, a bit less. I always check it and make sure it's not done, overdone. So let's get it on, number two, air fry time. We'll say 18 minutes and I'll check it. So that's on, let me just get rid of the rubash. The house will smell, but I've got the candles on and I'll open the window as well. And because I work in like, um, like two or three day periods at a time, like then I'm day off. I just normally do like try and meal prep, but over Christmas I haven't been. Um, but I thought this might be interesting. I don't know, it might not be, but if it's not, just skip. Always clean the surface. I feel like I'm on a cooking channel. I'm just cleaning where I've had the salmon ready to get my rice ready. So I never, like the, mi the mice, the rice is just like Mexican um, style rice that you put in the microwave, but I never put it in the microwave. I just put it straight in the Tupperware after weighing it um, and then microwave it with the salmon when I eat it. I might be told that that's the wrong thing to do, but I've been fine off doing that for the past three, four months. Let me open that window because it's starting to stank. Okay, so I'll get my Tupperware. So this is my glass Tupperware and it's actually from um, B&M, Home Bargains, B&M. So all I'm gonna do, I've actually got a pink and a green which works really well because obviously on Wednesday I'll remember pink and I'll take that with the weighed salmon in. So start with Wednesday and that's gonna be pink. So Tupperware on the scales. I'm just gonna add in my rice. Do like half a bag of rice for each day with um, protein, whether that's tuna or salmon. Never really say chicken. I don't know, I'm more, I feel like I'm more fishy. Definitely gonna be known as fishy girl in, this, in the canteen. So, half a bag of rice, so I'll just get the Wednesdays, so that is 116.6. Then Thursdays, need to do the same. Add it in. That's Wednesdays, and then Thursdays. Just do the rest of the bag. That's actually more, I think, not by much. That is one, two, nine. Not one day. One day. Okay, so I've got both Tupperwares there ready. So pink is Wednesday and green is Thursday. I'll just leave them until the salmon's all cooled and then I'll put that inside the Tupperware. I'll show you. Just like this. Then the salmon will be cool and I'll put it in there, then put it in the fridge and then just take it out on Wednesday morning and take it to work, keep it in the fridge, heat it up for two minutes and go. And the same on Thursday. And in terms of calories, so Wednesday's calories are like for that meal, salmon and rice is 388 calories. And then Thursday is 413 calories. So obviously I put more rice in the one for Thursday, but it doesn't matter because it's just like, it's a good lunch to have like and don't get me wrong i'm not going to go into calories because that's a separate video but honestly when i eat like this i feel full rather than if i ate like a greg sandwich which is still like the same probably calories like 300 400 i just don't feel i feel like tired whereas when i eat this i feel like 
I can get up off the cut in get up off the sofa in the canteen and like get on with my day and not feel like groggy so yeah it works for me it might not work for everyone but it does work for me and it takes however long this video is actually I've been filming for like just coming up to 11 minutes so it's took that time to prep two meals which is like no time at all was gonna do some broccoli but I think I'm just gonna keep the broccoli for my evening meals so yeah I'll plan some plan I'll prep some more food in a minute when I find out if my friend's actually coming for tea because she's not replied but hi I'm just talking to the vlog Jake's just walked in and said it stinks salmon girls back in the canteen um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and chill now for a bit because I've done all my jobs I had to do for the day. Morning everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog and welcome back to January Reset. As I mentioned at the start of this vlog, I am actually getting my hair done today and that's the day, hair day. And also I mentioned that my ring was coming back and here we have my ring. I'm so happy I have it back. I'm um, not going to lie, I might have to send it away again because there's something not 100% right. There's like a little bit of something in the diamond, underneath one of the diamonds. So I think we're going to have to send it back. There's one of my neighbours just walking past. Um, but that's another story. Don't want to get into that because I'm just don't want to think about it having to go away again. But anyway, it's Friday. It's hair day. I cannot wait. It's kind of like the start of like, the wedding prep hair because I'm gonna get like two inches off today just so it's really fresh for the year like a reset hair reset um and then I'm gonna start the lightening process not any lighter I think I just love how it has been like still very like maintainable but I need to book all of my appointments in with my hairdresser today ready for the year up until the wedding which feels surreal um but I'm currently just about to go and do a little return from ASOS and I also I'm going to nip to Aldi because my parents are coming over tonight and I'm making like this really creamy chicken pasta that I've made a lot in the vlogs and um, chicken alfredo it's called so I need to go and get that before my hair appointment so I'm just going to run down and do my little errands i.e the parcel and then go to Aldi I've got a few exciting packages to open but I think I'll do that when I'm back from the hairdressers just because it's quite tight between now and getting to Aldi and all of that. So I'll show you that this afternoon, which also comes in like good time with the vlog of like a January reset. Um, but yeah, excited for my hair. I will obviously take you along for my day and I really hope you enjoy seeing what I get up to and how my hair turns out. It's actually a mess. It's like, that's why I've tied it up, but I'm so excited to get it cut. Anyway, let's go, because I'm on a bit of a time, time frame. I just got ID'd in Aldi for Lem Sips. I was like, he said, oh, do you have any ID? And I said, oh yeah, what for? Because he had my shaving foam in his hand, and I was like, yeah, what for? And he went, oh, it's just for the Beecham's, that's what he called them, the actually Aldi Lem Sip specials, because the knockoff lem sips but um to be fair one pound sixty bargain um and i was like oh yeah because he's like you're one of the chosen ones that look under 25 i thought <laughs> i was excited but i was so confused when he had my shaving gel in his hand i was thinking do you have to be certain age to buy the shaving gel but turns out it was for the lemmies so i'm now gonna just prep the tea i'm gonna actually leave the chicken for the pasta the marinade all day um, and I'm gonna make some lunch and then go to the hairdressers so I need to be quick because I don't have a lot of time I've got like half an hour so that's plenty of time just to have some lunch and prep Jake's just gone in the gym if you can hear music so let's get on with it So I'm home from the hairdressers and I literally love my hair. I've had like two inches cut off and my colour done. I feel like you can't probably really tell in this light because the light's really warm. Um, but I love it and it feels so nice. Just I'm so glad about the cut. I've booked all my hair in until 
the wedding. My eyebrows probably look a bit dark compared to my hair because I had them dyed the other day and they'll fade over the next couple of days and obviously when my hair roots were so dark, it like, it matched. But yeah, my brows will sort of fade over the next few days but I just feel like they look a bit harsh compared to my really blonde hair. But so happy with my hair, feeling all fresh. So I just thought I would take the time to show you some deliveries I've received. I've not actually opened any of them, but I pretty much know what everything is. So I thought I'd do a little rundown of some deliveries. Um, the first one being some lashes I ordered from Primer Lashes. And you'll know, if you know me, you'll know that I just do like a bulk order every now and then of like Primer Lashes because of my actual faves. Um, and these are actually all just for me but the last is ages and honestly haven't done an order in so long so i was desperate but i'll show you a few of the styles i got just so you can see but just like i wear lashes like every day so these just last so long and like i say they're my favorite brand so there's like 20 pairs in there so i'm not going to get them all out but there's my lash haul um, and then this is an exciting one this is actually from Look Fantastic, and I've been fancying a new fake tan for ages, um, and I've heard quite a lot about Vita Liberata, and so I went on Look Fantastic the other night and just ordered some. What on earth am I doing? And it was on like a, it was this like kit basically that was meant to be worth, it's like worth like 50 pounds or something. And I got it for 20, it was, I can't remember the exact price, but basically it was like worth something and I got it for cheaper. So it's the Luxury Heroes kit. So you get, inside of there you get the Tinted Tannin Mist, you get a lotion, oh hang on, you get a tinted tannin mist which is new then you also get a fabulous gradual tannin lotion and then you get the body blur which I've, that's what i've heard a lot about the body blur um which is like a makeup for like your body i think that's the kind of gist i got of it but you can which is wash on wash off and i have oh and you get a mitt how good is that um the body blur i'm really excited to try because Oh, it's just a small one, but it doesn't matter. I want to try that on my neck because I always fake tan, which you can tell I haven't recently. I am so pale. Um, I'm actually going to fake tan for next week, maybe over the weekend. But I always like to put a bit of tan on my neck because my foundation's always darker. So sometimes for work, I have to tan my neck. Um, but I want to try that instead of doing normal fake tan, the body makeup. So there's my three products i'm actually so excited about that that's such a good bargain Ooh, and if i like it i can buy the full size body blur so yeah you get all of that and a mitt which i think is quite the quite the value for money so that's those and then this next parcel is exciting it is another parcel from protein world and protein world actually sent me this because they have got some new products that just launched, new protein bars. They launched them before Christmas. Um, salted caramel, if I can remember rightly, salted caramel and I'm sure it was like a brownie version. Ooh. So I'm excited to try those. That's what I think I asked for anyway. get them oh I got more of the oh that's upsetting I didn't get the new protein bars I got the plant break uh, plant-based protein bars which I've had before and they're so nice so I've got more of them then I got a protein world shaker which is so nice it's black and that's just good for like gym, like you can take your water in the gym in that. Oh, I love that, that's really smart. Thrilled with that. And then they've sent me the Slender Blend Protein Ice Vanilla Ice Cream flavor. Ooh, excited about that. And then the 
slender pancake mix as well and i was gonna get this last time but i ended up getting oh no i did get this but i didn't get this flavor this is the double chocolate chip flavor i just got the plain flavor i think last time so i got some more goodies from protein world oh i'm really sad i thought i was getting the new protein bars but obviously not that's okay they're still fab and um, i still actually really like them but I just wanted the new ones to try the flavours because they sounded so good. Um, but there is actually a code, my code, which I'll leave in the description box for you to get discount on Protein World. So excited to use that. I feel like Jake's going to try and pinch that because it's so smart. It's like matte black. Um, so there is that code. There's also another code. Let me find my phone because they're doing some serious discount on sec. Let me... Where is it? Oh, there. Ah, so basically, it's a spend and save discount. So I'll write it in the description. But basically, if you spend over £40, you get £10 off. If you spend over £60, you get £20 off. And if you spend over £30, you get... No, over £80, you get £30 off. So basically it's code get 10, get 20 or get 30. But I'll leave all of that down below so you can see. But yeah, if you want some discount on Protein World, use my code or use one of them codes. But I'm excited to... I need to make some pancakes. Let me do that in the next video. Healthy pancakes coming up. Look at this, you're going to be gel. Cool. <laughs> Jake, just give me a thumbs up. I just wanted to say thank you so much to Protein World, by the way, for sending me them products because I'm so happy and I literally love their um their products so much. I got the last in the last haul I got from Protein World. I got the um the porridge, the chocolate porridge, and honestly, it's so good and it fills you up for absolutely ages. Um, I've been loving that. Um, I haven't, like I say, tried the pancake stuff yet, but I need to. Um, and I love the protein bars as well. So very happy. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again, Protein World. But now it is time to relax for a little while. I'm just gonna sort the house a little bit and then probably watch some YouTube. And then I've got my parents coming over for tea. I'm making like a creamy chicken pasta chicken alfredo and i've already prepped the chicken so i'm just gonna have a chill until they come over to be honest can't wait put all my goodies away and let's just relax <laughs> 